Well, howdy folks. First video from the new workshop. And as you can see, I've got it more or less set up and looking like a workshop here behind me. So excited for this to be the first one. It's going to be really, really hot today. So I'm starting early and hopefully I don't end up too drenched in sweat by the end of this video. But in any case, today we're going to build a talk box. And let me go back for a little history on this. So these videos of talk boxes started coming up in my YouTube feed and I was watching them and I noticed in like every picture, there's always like the tube and then a microphone that the person's using and I never really processed that. I had used a vocoder keyboard before and what that does is it, it uses your voice as like a sample and then the keys that you press uh, actually determine the pitch. So I thought it was similar uh, of how TalkBox works, but that's not how it works at all. So I did some research and I found out, like my mind was blown guys, a TalkBox, actually the way it works, it's like a pedal, right? But when you turn it on, it turns off the signal going to your amp and instead inside the TalkBox, it sends it to a small speaker that's inside the TalkBox. And that speaker is hooked to the tube and goes up into your mouth and your head becomes the resonator for the speaker. And so the microphone is there to pick it up. So if you didn't have the microphone, you wouldn't hear anything. So like my mind was just, that can't be right. And so I did some research, looked at some schematics. Sure enough, that's how they work. So I was like, well, hell, I could make one of those. So that's what we're gonna do today. And here I have the box of parts that we're gonna need. So first off, you need something as an enclosure. I'm gonna use this small cigar box. You could probably use a number of things, but you need something to work as an enclosure. And you're also gonna need some tubing to function as, of course, the tube. Now I just bought like a 10 foot roll here, but you can see this is 3 8 inside diameter, one half outside diameter. The next thing you're gonna need is the actual speaker that's gonna go inside the talk box. Now this one is a five core horn driver. I'm not saying that this is the perfect one. Keep in mind, this is the first time I've done this, but it makes it very simple because look at how simple and self-contained this is. If you've ever seen a horn on a PA speaker, this is the driver off the back without the big you know, metal piece on the front. That's exactly what it is. Now this particular one is eight ohms, has a 20 watt um, power rating. And this little thing is probably the most important part of the whole thing. So this is just a little reducer, but as you can see, it is it fits perfectly on the horn here. So it's threaded perfectly with the way that the horn driver is threaded. And on this end, it has that half inch OD reducer. We're also gonna need a small amplifier to go in there. And this is just a little amp board that I found. I think I got this off eBay or maybe Amazon. Very simple, I think this one produces like 10 watts or something like that. Um, but it requires at least 12 volts, so I couldn't use a nine volt battery. So I found this here, this is a two amp, 12 volt um, wall wart thing. And so that's what I'm gonna use to supply the power. And then I have this little bag of electronic parts that we'll also need. So in our little bag of parts, we have one of these little barrel connectors that will allow us to connect the AC power to the amp inside. We've got a quarter inch mono jack that will allow us to connect the guitar to the talk box. And then we've got a capacitor and you can hopefully see here, this is 50 microfarad and that is gonna act as a crossover. So what that's gonna do is we're gonna put that between the amp and the speaker and it's gonna filter out any low frequencies because I'm not sure how well that that, um, that that horn is gonna handle low frequencies. Uh, now you can look up online, there are charts based on the impedance of your speaker that you're using and um, the value of the capacitor, you can get different crossover frequencies. So you can look that up. But anyway, this is what I'm gonna use today and uh, let's get started.
Okay, folks, it is hot out there, so I switched to inside to test this thing out. Real quick, let's show what we got here. We've got the volume knob on this side, input jack on this side, and here, of course, is where our tube is gonna connect. Now, you might have noticed during the video there, I was originally gonna just mount the jack right to the side here, and I accidentally drilled the hole too big, so I used this um, this Strat-style jack, but I turned it upside down, and um, seems to work fine. So there we go, so you'll plug your instrument in here, get the volume, and then the sound should come out of here. So the tube should go into here. Perfect. There we go. Now I should be able to do this kind of thing and uh, get some sound. So let's test it out. Okay, so here we go. Let's give this baby a little test. I got the keyboard. The keyboard is plugged into the talk box. Here is the power cord. Let's go ahead and plug that into here and it should be on. I'm not sure how much to turn the volume up or down. I guess going to find out. But if we press a key, we should hear it coming out of here. Let's try it. Oh, can you hear that? It's working. Oh my gosh, it's working. It's coming out. The sound is coming out of here. Hopefully that's evident on the camera, but the sound is definitely coming out of here. So I think it works. I guess um, now I need to try putting this into my mouth and using a microphone and see what happens. Well, that was pretty cool. That's pretty fun. Okay, folks, there you have it. That's how you make a cigar box talk box. Cigar box talk box? Cigar talk box? I don't know what you want to call this, but that's how you make one. Pretty simple and straightforward. You've got a horn driver. You've got a reducer here, some sort of uh, tubing, and then you've got basically a little amp circuit inside of there. Now, one thing I will mention, when I did this with the keyboard, it worked really well, like the internal amp was about the right volume. When I did it with the guitar, it was really quiet. Um, even when I had this cranked all the way up. So what I did is I put a clean boost between the guitar and the talk box just to boost the signal up a, a little bit. And I actually, is a clean boost, but I actually dirtied it up a little bit to try to give it a little grit. So that's why you probably got a little bit of that grit effect, but it actually worked really well with the boost there. Got it just right. So in any case, I am pretty impressed by this and I still think it's pretty amazing that this thing uses your head as a resonator. Crazy. I'll have to do some more experiments with this, but for throwing it together, I'm really pleased with how this came out. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I'll be back soon.